Hi there, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. It's Wednesday today, so we're doing our Aussie Wednesday shave, and today's a special shave. I'll show you the soap. Squadron 617. Now you, want, you might say, what's the significance of that? Have you heard of the Dam Busters? Well, on the 16th and 17th of May, 1943, that's right, 80 years ago, there was a daring raid by the group of the Squadron 617 on the dams um, in Germany. On three dams, it was. And, um, yes, the unique thing about this is the bomb they used bounced off the water. We'll go into that in a little bit more detail later on. Now, what we're using with that? We're going with our Picasso. From Billy Goat Brushworks, Australian Brushworks, or Brush Maker. And in there, I've got a synthetic two band knot in there. Quite a nice one. I don't know where it comes from, but it's quite nice. So we'll stick that in my super soaker to get wet. I've got some nice warm water in there. And the razor, we're going with our Canadian made Outlander. Wonderful razor. This is the aluminium version. So that's what we're going to use. So we're going to put a blade in there, a new blade. We're going to keep trying the Lord Cool Blades, the uh, Super Stainless Lords, until we empty a package. These uh, five blades left. So another five weeks of these. So I'll do that in the overhead camera actually and put the blade in over there. Um, the brush, bowl, yes our normal Aussie shave bowl from Whispers, Whispers from the Woods. Love this bowl, definitely my favourite bowl. And um, oh, appreciate it, we're going to use the Natio for Men Smooth Shave Gel. And put that on right now. I've got a solid three days growth on my face. I don't know where you can see it, it's quite a lot of white hairs in it now. I am over 70, I'll be 71 this year in a few months' time. So, uh, I should try and shave with this gel. Uh, it seems pretty slick. I don't know whether it makes a lather, but we'll test that one day. Okay. It's great as a pre shave, does a wonderful job. It's got a nice light scent to it. It's sort of a generic barber shopping type scene, I would think. Wonder why. You can see it does foam up a little bit, so it could foam up. If not, we can do just a normal one. Alright, we'll go over there, produce the leather, and also load the, the razor. Alright, before we get started making the, the lather, let's load the razor. Just a, a standard three piece razor, a very tight fit on the thread and it's a tight fit on the, the cap. I've got a um, plastic washer on there. As you can see it's got the slots to hold the blood. Oh, Keep the blade alignment. 
So we'll just undo, it's a single wrap blade. Just a touch of glue on it. To stop it moving around in the package. So we just drop that in and then drop the base plate on top. And there we go. Tighten it up. Perfect alignment. Beautiful. Now I haven't tried the, the cool blade in that razor before, so we'll see how we go. All right, as you can see, I've already got the uh, the soap squashed in there. I've got about um, 2.3 grams of soap in there, which is a, a solid rounded quarter teaspoon. So we'll get our brush. Squeeze and a couple of shakes, and we'll make a slurry. And the scent on this is a uh, quite complex. It's got a bit of everything. It's got some green notes. It's got floral notes. It's got some um, spices and. Woods and amber and musk. Very complex scent. It's very hard to detect individual ones. It's a lovely, light, fresh scent. It's not very strong though. Off the puck, it's no more than four out of ten. So I'll just put a little bit of water in that. Slurry now. Just free meal. Get a bit of extra moisture to create the slurry. Squadron, I've said it before, squadron was my first soap. Artisan soap. Alright. shiny or the sun's come out beautiful all right we just re-wet the face while I'm doing that I'll um, put up the ingredient list and uh, scent profile which is quite complex would have been nice to be less a little bit stronger Let's see. Um, I'll put a bit of alum on my fingers first. Mm, tip 
spinach. Yes, I can smell the citrus. On the top. And up. I can smell some um, florals. I don't get the woody notes yet. Some spices. Uh, it's a lovely scent actually. I really enjoy it. Off the lather, I give it, it's not very strong. I give it about a four, a four out of 10. It's certainly very pleasant. Very clone-like. Okay. Get the razor. Uh, actually, I'll turn the other light on. Just in case the sun goes out. We won't have to have an interruption later. Uh, very nice. Okay, 1943. Now the idea of bombing the dams with bouncing bombs came from an engineer, an English engineer by the name of um, Barnes Wallace who got the idea by throwing marbles um, uh, what was it, off the uh, backyard pond I think it was And the idea was to bounce the bombs and drop that very low altitude across the top of the surface of water and then sink at the last minute just before the, the dam and explode down near the base of the dam. Maximising the force of energy against the dam wall. Well, that's lovely, beautiful. Lovely and slick, this soap. Very slick. Although that it is merged with the the pre-shave. Lovely scent. Like I said, it's not strong. So we you designed the bombs, they they were actually barrels rather than, they weren't balls. They were barrels, like uh, depth charge barrels. But they had to be dropped at low altitude. of, um, what is it, 18 meters? I think that's 60 feet, 60 feet. Wow, 60 feet, in a plane, in a Lancaster. Going at 232 miles per hour. It was pretty, it was calculated exactly. And they tested it many times. The operation was codenamed Chastise. It 
was a single raid, oh, yeah, single raid on three dams done over the two days, 16th and 17th of May, 1943. They took off uh, from England at about 9.30, I think it was, uh, 9.28. and dropped their first bombs on the 17th of May at night. About destroy two of the targets however it was very costly um, of the 133 crew members that took part uh, comprising of British America uh, no there's no Americans Australians New Zealanders and Canadians in the air crews There were 19 Lancasters that took off, set up in three ra uh, raids on the dams. Oh, that's lovely and sleek. Wonderful. but um, still gives a great lather and performance. Yeah, so yeah, 53 men were killed and three became prisoners of war. On the ground, they destroyed two of the targets uh, 1,300 people were killed in the floods and some damage was done to the German inf uh, industrial infrastructure. It wasn't significant though. But it was a big morale booster for the English. All right, against the grain, north to south, no, south to north. Some people call it. This is definitely my favorite D razor currently. It would be, if I only had one, this is probably top of the list. If you want further details, um, you can look it up on the internet. Just called the Dam Bastards, uh, but Dam Bastards, Dam Busters, and you'll you will see it in on Wikipedia and many other places. There was a movie made of it. I think in the fifties, black and white movie. If I remember. I don't recall the data on that movie. I didn't write it down. So, after that raid, 
that low level raid. They did another one after that, I think in Norway. Uh, but that was not successful. So they stopped doing low level raids after that. But the 617 still participated in the war in uh, as a special group for accurate bombing raids. So we're doing a touch up now. Or fourth pass, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> It's a bit under the nose I didn't get. I'll need a bit more alum now. Blade is feeling very nice, it's very mild. A mild feeling blade, but it's chopping the whiskers down without any trouble. May not work as well depending on your whether you got wiry beard or not. Mine's about average. Yeah, we're going back to more overcast autumn weather now. Temperatures in the low teens. By the way, there's no overhang at all. That's a concern to you. I prefer braces without overhang. Well, not much overhang. Oh, it's a wonderful shape. Absolutely wonderful. Still plenty of slickness. Alum test. Oh, it's a bit, uh, bit there I missed. Okay. Double, double, double. Right. I don't think it will be much. No, nothing. Nothing. I won't put too much on. Right, we'll just rinse it off before I put the Another back on my face. So, 
skin moisturizer, cum scrub, whatever you want to call it. Plenty of lovely goodness left, very stable. So I'll put this on, go and have my shower, come back for the post shave. Okay, we're back. Oh, what a wonderful shave. Damn fine shave. Very close. Very close to BBS. Although that's never my aim. Okay. We'll start off with her. Uh, oh, we, we chased of course. Shake it up because I've got mineral crystals in there. And some tea tree oil. Scent of 617. Wonderful. One or one or one. Okay, that's my shake today. So let's remember those 53. Airman that passed away on the um, the raids on the 17th of May. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you on my next show.